as we have seen the derivation of stagnation pressure in an incompressible fluid flow similar to a stagnation pressure there is stagnation density now where is this stagnation pressure applied that is on the nose of an aircraft when it is traveling at a very high velocity so once we have calculated stagnation pressure let us use that to calculate stagnation density <music> Stagnation density. Rho s. Now, what is stagnation density? That is the density of the fluid nearer to the tip of that entire aircraft or a vehicle which is traveling at a very high velocity and submerged into an incompressible fluid. Now, why I am saying the word submerged? Because we all are submerged in air. So it is a fluid in which we are submerged and when we travel at that velocity, so there will be some stagnation density. So now we know that the stagnation pressure P, P2 or stagnation pressure which was Ps is given as Ps is equals to P1 into 1 plus M1 square into gamma minus 1 upon 2G raised to gamma minus 1 upon gamma. So this is what is a stagnation pressure. Now let us consider the process as adiabatic since we had already considered the process as adiabatic and let us calculate what is relationship of stagnation pressure with stagnation density. So this can be given as P stagnation upon P1 initial pressure is equals to stagnation density rho 2 by rho 1 raised to gamma. So let us substitute this value of gamma in this equation. So what you will get as rho stagnation upon rho 1 raised to gamma is equals to P1 upon 1 plus m1 square upon 2g into gamma minus 1 the whole raised to gamma upon gamma minus 1. So we have used the equation for an adiabatic process. So let us take 1 upon let us take 1 upon gamma root on both the side. So what do we get over here is over here the one thing we have we need to neglect this part won't be there because we have substituted ps upon p1 so what do we get in this equation as after taking the root that is rho s upon a rho 1 will be equals to 1 plus m1 square by 2g into gamma minus 1 raised to gamma minus 1 upon gamma into 1 upon gamma so this gamma will go away so we'll get stagnation density rho s is equals to rho 1 1 plus m1 square by 2g into gamma minus 1 in raised to 1 upon gamma minus 1 so this is what is stagnation density that is the density of the fluid nearer to the tip of the aircraft so I hope you have understood how to calculate stagnation density from stagnation pressure. Thank you.